if you don't try it, then you don't know. Ignorance is bliss. Just live in your blissful world, because once you do it, then you're going to know how fun it is. But you may not want to know that until you're older. And it's usually older people that get it, you know, or somebody who's got an injury. You know, if you've got a knee injury or you've got some sort of something that's making you not get up and go riding because you can't move your something, you can get on an e-bike and go. In today's world, an e-bike is normally going to be an electrically assisted pedaling bike meaning you have to pedal to get help. And the electric motor just helps you apply power to the pedals. It does not ride the bike for you. It's not a electric motorcycle. It's something that just, some of them you can just get help like when you need it, when you're going up a hill. Some of them are going to be constantly helping. There's a lot of people that want an e-bike but people don't know why yet, maybe. Um, if you, ha you, have to, you have to get on one and just ride it, and then it may or may not be for you, but you can't just look at the paper and go, e-bikes, what are they? You have to get your butt on it. It's like tasting something, a new food. We got this new food out, put it in your tongue, and it does amazing things. You have to try it, you have to try it. It's like, there's no way other way to do it. So it makes, it makes, it makes somebody who doesn't ride, who, somebody who is you know, living La Vida Sofa, get off the sofa and go outside and get some fresh air. My name is Paul Griffin. I'm the national sales manager for Fantic of Italy, uh, a motorcycle factory that's been around since 1968. And we just started doing electric bikes three years ago. This is the fastest way to work and back home. Um, it, doesn't, it doesn't matter if you live in a hilly neighborhood in San Francisco or a flat neighborhood in Texas. This is going to a regular push pedal bicycle. Um, you're going to go up those hills and, man, I can't wait to get home and have dinner. Man, this hill is just kicking my butt. It's super steep. And uh, pedal assist, just like you riding it earlier, you jam up the hills rest down the other side and you're going to get home faster. You're going to get to work on time um, uh, uh, without being in a car or a motorcycle. And here's the best part. In a car and a motorcycle, you're waiting on traffic. You know, in a bicycle, you get to get away, you get to get away with a little bit more and kind of duck through the crowds and, and uh, through the colleges a little quicker. So instead of going and maybe driving up in the hills far away and come back down on our bicycles. We're going to ride up and come down so we can save the shuttle. We can save the car, not have to drive to someplace or we'll ride to it. You know, so we have friends out here, out there. So we're going to do it as a, as a group. Go, okay, it's going to be a, it's going to be an e-ride. like to pedal and I'm not looking to get out of pedaling yet. Give me a few more years when I'm a couple more years older and I might change my mind about that. <laughs> right now, I mean, I can still pedal for 75 miles. You know, give me another five, six years and I'll probably be lucky to pedal seven miles. So <laughs> we'll see where that goes. <laughs>